The Japanese bobtail is an aboriginal cat from the land of the rising sun with a short pompom tail. The Japanese bobtail is a surprise cat, a friendly, albeit slightly unpredictable Asian, masterly painting monochrome everyday life in all colors of the rainbow. Yes, he is a little mischievous and fidgety, but at the same time an excellent psychotherapist and storyteller. In addition, the character and habits of these mustachioed islanders are absolutely original, so you can study and comprehend the secrets of the cat's soul for years, or even for decades. Japanese bobtails are very stubborn and active, you won't get bored with them. According to ancient Japanese belief, all evil accumulates in the tail of the cat therefore, the shorter the tail, the less bad in the animal, and the more luck the owner has. History of the Japanese bobtail breed Japanese bobtails are over a thousand years old. It is assumed that the first mustachioed mouse catchers arrived on the islands from China, but they look different then, and the tails at first had a normal length. Subsequently, as a result of a gene mutation, this part of the body has lost the appearance to which we are accustomed. So, the classic tail was replaced by a short squiggle, disguised with fluffy fur under the pompom. The Japanese, immersed in folk omens and superstitions, considered such a change a good sign. Long tails in this part of Asia were never welcomed and were identified with a dark, evil essence. Well, since in the ancestors of bobtails this part of the spine was insignificant, the green light was given to the cats for reproduction. In the national culture, traces of Japanese bobtails can be traced back to the 16th century, when Asian artists discovered ideal models in Katiki and began to depict them on their canvases. By this time, the bobtails have managed not only to get into the confidence of the Japanese rulers, but also completely occupy the palace chambers and country residences of the emperor, as well as his entourage. It is not known how long the breed would have been able to maintain its privileged status if not for the large-scale invasion of rodents that invaded the land of the rising sun in 1602. Driven by hunger, the rats mercilessly dealt with the food supplies of the townspeople, mulberry trees and even silkworm larvae. To stop the murderous lawlessness, the emperor made an extraordinary decision. The ruler issued an urgent decree ordering the owners of cats to release their furry wards on the city streets. Thanks to this, Japanese bobtails got complete freedom of action in terms of reproduction and pumping the genotype. The breed owes its move to the USA and European countries to the American breeder of Abyssinian cats and concurrently leading CFA specialist Elizabeth Fraird. Despite the fact that Japan's self-isolation had sunk into oblivion by that time, the Asians were clearly in no hurry to share their bob-tailed mice with the rest of the world. Nevertheless, in 1967, a woman managed to buy three Japanese bobtails and ship them to America. Subsequently, Mrs. Ferret's mustachio trucker was joined by several more short-tailed purrs, which were almost smuggled out of Japan. They later became the main producers of the American breed line. In 1968, Japanese short-haired bobtails were standardized by CFA registration. This was a serious progress, since in the homeland of cats, documentation was not fond of, preferring to breed animals without any paper formalities. As for long-haired individuals, their path to recognition by philological associations turned out to be several decades longer. At first, overly fluffy kittens that slipped in the litters of bobtails with short fur coats were mercilessly rejected. However, after turning to historical sources, it turned out that at the court of the Japanese emperor, long-haired bobtails were bred on a par with their short-haired brothers. As a result, the variety gained the right to exist only in 1991 and then after the persistent requests of the breeders. Japanese bobtail breed standard. The Japanese bobtail is a long-legged, muscular handsome man with an oriental face and a funny pompom instead of the usual tail. The most advantageous from an aesthetic point of view are males, they are usually larger and heavier than cats. However, at the exhibitions, the girls of the Japanese bobtail are also not deprived of attention, which allows them to periodically acquire champion diplomas. The weight of Japanese bobtails should be 5 to 7 kilograms for cats and 4 to 5 kilograms for cats, head. The skull of a Japanese bobtail resembles an equilateral triangle in outline. In general, the head of the animal is distinguished by its cheekiness and sculptural contours. The vibrissa pads are distinctly protruding. Nose. Wide, rather long, with a shallow transition to the forehead. Eyes. The wide open but not protruding eyes of the Japanese bobtail are set slightly obliquely and have the shape of a regular oval. Ears. Large, erect, widely spaced, it is desirable that the inner surface of the ear canal be well pubescent and there are brushes on the ear itself. Housing. The Japanese bobtails are folded quite harmoniously. The body of the cat is long, but not massive or overly fragile. In general, the animal looks slightly lean, but not haggard. Extremities. 
The high legs of Japanese bobtails have different lengths, the hind legs are longer than the front ones, but this does not break the top line, that is, the back of a standing cat remains in an emphasized horizontal position, without a pronounced inclination. The legs of the animal are oval, well-knit. Tail. Japanese bobtails have a curled tail that resembles a fur ball, the length of which should not exceed 7.6 cm in the extended position. Usually the configuration of this part of the body is unique for each individual cat. However, several common breed tail types stand out, including twisted, knobby, corkscrew and curled tail types. Depending on the direction of the curl, the tails of Japanese bobtails are subdivided into chrysanthemums and spirals. In the first case, the vertebrae of the tail are arranged in a circle, forming a regular ring, and in the second, the bend has an open shape. Will. Coats of short-haired Japanese bobtails look very neat due to soft semi-long hair and almost complete absence of undercoat. Long-haired cats have the same silky hair, but longer. In addition, the clothes of the representatives of the second species are often heterogeneous. For example, a relatively short coat in the shoulder area can gradually lengthen towards the tail and legs, forming light pantaloons on the hips. Color. The Japanese bobtail can be of any color other than obvious hybrid variations such as color point, chocolate, purple, and tick tabby. Disqualifying faults. The vast majority of Japanese bobtails are deprived of the right to participate in exhibitions due to malformations of the tail. In particular, if the tail is absent as such, is slightly pubescent, and does not look like a pompom, it makes no sense to show the animal to the breeding commission. Cats with a so-called retracted bobtail effect, when the pom-pom is at a distance of 2.5 cm from the back, will not work out as well. The character of the Japanese bobtail. If you are hoping to find a sedate oriental in a Japanese bobtail, indulgently allowing you to love yourself in exchange for treats and respect, then you are in the wrong place. Of course, the Asian mentality is present in the breed, but in such a subdued form that it often begins to seem as if it never existed at all. Hot temperament, irrepressible curiosity and a passion for adventure, these are the main qualities that have provided Japanese bobtails with a reputation as the most unpredictable pets. Moreover, cats are especially uncontrollable in childhood, overwhelmed by a thirst for new knowledge and impressions, kittens sometimes go to such tricks, which you would never expect from them. A Japanese bobtail can absolutely sincerely love the owner, but this does not oblige him to watch TV shows with him and work as a guard of the owner's knees. And all because the fluffy samurai always have a couple of interesting activities in stock that require immediate intervention. What kind of TV is there when such prospects are looming on the horizon? Of course, from time to time the cat is not averse to snuggle up to the master's side and have a heart-to-heart -heart talk, but keeping him next to him against his will is unlikely to work. In an informal setting, Japanese bobtails like to try on the role of fluffy whistleblowers, so don't even try to close the interior doors tightly and slam the lockers tightly, they will open it anyway, conduct an audit, and remain unhappy. Get used to the fact that purrs will not ask permission for the next leprosy either. If the Japanese bobtail liked the butterfly that fluttered on the dresser, he will get it, and he doesn't care that somewhere in the background you make scary eyes and wave something there. In general, the Japanese bobtail is an incredibly talkative breed, and cats prefer to share their impressions not with fellow tribesmen, but with a person. Are you ready to listen to oriental legends in the evenings, told in a low, husky voice? However, even if they are not ready, the Japanese bobtail does not care, he decided, he will tell, and there you decide for yourself what to do with the information received. The representatives of this breed do not suffer from loneliness from the word absolutely, so feel free to go to the officer visit, the pet is wonderful, and most importantly, it will spend time with benefit without you. True, it is possible that later it will be necessary to eliminate the consequences of cat's entertainment, although it is difficult to expect outright crime from Japanese bobtails, unless the kitten is very small and desperately misses you. Japanese bobtails are friendly cats, willingly accepting other purrs into their circle. Preference is always given to the natives of the land of the rising sun. By the way, if two Asians settled in the house at once, get ready for a conspiracy, because group crimes for these fluffy Yakuza is an incomparable thrill. Cats usually do not conflict with dogs, so you can take a Japanese bobtail to a company with an existing dog at home without unnecessary fears, of course, provided that your second pet is not a desperate cat hater. Education and training. On the one hand, Japanese bobtails are stubborn, what to look for. On the other hand, they are terribly clever, and in training they reach unprecedented heights. So, if you want to teach a cat a couple of tricks, catch the right moment when the pet is in a good mood. You will be able to arouse the interest of the purr and intrigue him with his studies, consider that the most difficult part of the work is done. 
When it comes to exercise selection, most of all Japanese bobtails enjoy picking up rubber toys, catching an imaginary fly on command, and doing a stand on their hind legs. It is easy for the breed to jump over a gymnastic hooper barrier. Since in their free time cats often fly from the closet to the sofa and vice versa, it will not be difficult to practice this skill on any sports equipment, including the hula hoop. On the street, Japanese bobtails are walked almost like dogs, that is, on a harness. True, provided that you introduce the cat to this subject in advance. Usually, in order to accustom the Japanese to walking on a leash, a traditional technique common to all cat breeds is sufficient. First, show your pet a harness, let it smell. Then leave the strap near the cat bed for the animal to get used to. At first, wear the harness at home and only for a few minutes. If a Japanese bobtail shows suspicion and does not want to climb into the collar, you can appease him with a piece of some yummy. Maintenance and care. Japanese bobtails have practically no undercoat. For a breeder, such a feature is one solid plus, a minimum of hair on carpets during the molting period, which cannot be said about the cats themselves. Deprived of a protective down layer that insulates the body from environmental influences, the Japanese are very sensitive to any drop in temperature and drafts. For this reason, find a truly warm and sheltered place for your cat basket. Only without fanaticism, a bed close to the radiator is a serious overkill. Hygiene. As for caring for Japanese bobtails, it all depends on which breed you own. If a short-haired bobtail lives in the house, you can relax because a representative of this family will need to comb the fur coat no more than once a week. Long-haired Japanese will have to pay more attention because the comb is supposed to be passed on their muscular bodies every day. In addition, long-haired cats always molt more pronounced and mainly in the spring. They bathe Japanese bobtails only in those situations when they really cannot do without washing. These Asians are not afraid of water, but they will have to tinker in the process, if only because the breed's will has a strong water repellent effect. Accordingly, it will take much more time to try to wet the cat's fur coat than the washing process itself. Cleaning the ears of a Japanese bobtail follows the classic scenario, once a week, look into the cat's ear canal. If it smells dirty and dirty, walk the inside of the ear canal with a tissue soaked in alcohol-free veterinary lotion. In severe cases, cat ear drops can help soften dried wax and dirt. Just do not go to extremes trying to get into the very depths of the passage, you risk damaging your hearing organs. Cutting the claws of a Japanese bobtail is optional. If the pet is accustomed to the scratching post and uses it regularly, this is enough. But rubbing a cat's eyes in the morning with phyto lotions or herbal infusions should become a tradition. Feeding. Japanese bobtails are not entitled to any special Asian menu. Short-tailed purrs eat everything that other breeds do, that is, lean meat, fillets of boiled sea fish and liver, which are recommended to be strengthened with viscous cereals based on rolled oats and buckwheat. However, like the true Japanese, bobtails often prefer seafood over cold cuts. Once a week, the cat's diet must be additionally fortified with chicken yolk, quail eggs, fresh herbs or wheat sprouts. Low-fat fermented milk products are also beneficial to the breed, as are fruit and vegetable chips. The easiest and easiest way to feed a Japanese bobtail is to transfer it to an industrial drying. However, the majority of kittens from catteries by the time of moving to a new house are already tightly sitting on it. Therefore, the only thing that will be required in such a situation from the new owner is to fill the plate with dry croquettes in a timely manner and add fresh water to the bowl. Health and disease of Japanese bobtails. Like most aboriginal breeds, Japanese bobtails are quite healthy cats with good immunity. Hereditary diseases for representatives of this family are not found, therefore, if you properly care for the animal, vaccinated in a timely manner, pay due attention to a balanced diet, and also not allow the cat to catch a cold, remember the poorly warming will, you will not have to go with him to veterinary offices. How to choose a kitten. Unlike the cruel congeners, Japanese bobtails in many countries are still exotic, and nurseries that breed them can be counted on the fingers of one hand. For example, for this period of time only one organization is confidently leading, having the registration of WCF and CFA, as well as the official website on the internet, this is the Inesima Cattery. By the way, don't expect a Japanese bobtail to be sold to you right away. First, due to the comparative rarity of the breed, kittens have to be booked long before birth. Secondly, most kennels prefer to give promising babies to professional breeders and felinologists, leaving individuals with defects in appearance to ordinary buyers. General rules for choosing a Japanese bobtail. Do not be surprised at the unusually large size of the kittens. Japanese bobtails grow and gain weight faster than most of their counterparts. Evaluate the appearance of a potential pet, referring to the breed standard. Pay special attention to the tail configuration, which is the defining characteristic of the Japanese bobtail. 
do not neglect the opportunity to get to know the litter breeders. This will make it easier to understand what exactly awaits you when the pet reaches full physical maturity, veterinary passport, metrics of a Japanese bobtail kitten, pedigrees of its parents, all these documents must be carefully studied during their stay in the cattery. Japanese bobtail price. The cost of Japanese bobtail kittens traditionally depends on the class of the animal, breed, show, pet, and the champion titles of their parents. The average price for a club kitten from a certified couple is 400 US dollars. Cheaper options usually have a more modest pedigree and sometimes in addition, external defects.